Howdy, hello YouTube. Uh, I'm back. <laughs> Got two uh, pickups to show you today. What pickups? I, I, I hate calling them pickups because they're they're so so common nowadays on YouTube. Everyone says, "Oh, what pickups? Pickups." Um, I'm going to call mine um, a different name because uh, just recently I've been watching a guy on YouTube. Uh, he, he he he's a he's a gambler. He's addicted to gambling. Well, he was. He's slowly like. Uh, moving away from it and escaping the uh, addiction and he calls his uh, videos a diary of a compulsive gambler and I thought <laughs> I'm just as addicted to this collecting as he is with gambling really the collecting games uh, distracted me from gambling because before uh, last year I used to go gambling like every couple of days maybe once or twice a week sometimes three times and I'd come back with a profit and sometimes not no, I was I was winning like I I I made a grand I made a grand in like ten days I won I won every day <laughs> I had a grand and then uh then I lost a bit and then one time I nearly got two grand and then I bought the my PS3 didn't I last year so I got a good win but I don't really gamble anymore I, I broke away from it I I I escaped just in time but uh, so yeah this collecting thing helped me break away from that so yeah I'm I'm gonna call my my uh new pickups uh diary of a compulsive collector because that's what it is now I'm, instead of addicted to gambling i'm addicted to to buying retro games and buying just <laughs> just holding games as you can see from the shelves but uh yeah because i'm not i'm not really feeling the ps2 at the moment I'm, i've broke i've took a back seat from the playstation 2 and i'm i'm into the uh, nintendo territory and uh, possibly sega mega drive and uh if you can hear scraping some scraping sound i am not i haven't got no one hostage i'm not i ain't got a, i ain't kidnapped anyone it's just my my cat is trying to scrape he wants to get in i don't i don't like him coming in here cuz i don't want him jumping all over the place and knocking things down so uh, yeah it's already been Two minutes. I ain't showed you shit. So yeah, I said I had another another one to show you. I was waiting for it to arrive, and it's here. And uh, it's in Super Nintendo. It's in okay condition. This cost me nearly twenty quid. This one, which is a bit over the odds, but oh well. It's Super Nintendo. So if you know, if you collect for that, you know how that goes. With boxed, and uh, you're paying like double the price just just the. Uh, to have less creases and less chips at the box you're just paying for a bit of cardboard really so but yeah it's nice to have them in good condition and yeah that's a uh, i've got aladdin for the super nintendo um the box is okay it's in nice condition but it's got the the, the color looks like it's a bit different it looks a bit odd compared to the size i don't know if that can pick it if it picks it up on the camera but i can i can see a difference but uh, overall in for the most part, it is nice. I, mean, look, I like the Super Nintendo boxes. They even include a little random screenshot there, and a screenshot there, and a screenshot there, and then there's screenshots on the back. I mean, I I I played it. I played it for about 20 minutes when I when I when it arrived, and it's a, it's a really good one. I've never I've never tried it before. Like I've always played um, the Sega Mega Drive version. And uh, this, I've, 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 always, I've always been curious of this one, and I've, I saw a few gameplay videos on YouTube, just the first level or so, just to see what it looks like, and it looks really good. I, I've tried it; it's, it's, a, it's a really fun game. It is. Um, the only downside is you don't use your sword. You, you use um, you just throw apples, and you hop and bop on the enemies, which is a good thing. It's it's, it's, it's a it's a good platformer. So if, yeah, if you've got a Super Nintendo. Yeah, I recommend this one. I was going to try and get it on the the Super Famicom, uh, just in case it didn't play on the uh, converter. But I, I'm, I'm going to try and get the Super Famicom version as well because that's on eBay and it's not very very dear, like not pr pricey. And uh, another good thing about this one is it can play on here, so I can put this in the Super Famicom and play it at 60 hertz, which with 50, 60 hertz, I don't I don't notice a difference. <laughs> But they say that um, Sonic 2, they show, I've seen a video on YouTube show, saying, that, uh, no, not saying, showing an example of 50 and 60 hertz with Sonic 2. And uh, they show, you can see a difference in the video, but when I play my Sonic 2 on my Mega Drive, mine's a bit faster than their, their example. I, I, I can't see a difference. <laughs> so yeah, this one plays on here, so it can, can convert. 
So that's a good thing. Now the next one is another Super Nintendo game, and uh, uh, <laughs> the the story of this one is um, like it's like I said, I'm a compulsive collector, uh, and when it comes to Nintendo games, I like them as mint as possible. And like I said, with finance, I don't give a shit. If I pay triple the odds, I don't care. I want it. If I can afford it, bang, bang, <laughs> bang, bang. My scope is a. Uh, is set and I, I'm gonna take I'm gonna pull the trigger on it and uh, I watched the Ryan Shand uh, pickup video recently and he picked up this game and his was in average condition a bit the common condition for a Super Nintendo game which was acceptable for him he was, sat, he, he, he was satisfied with it and he got it for peanuts he got it for like a fiver and I was <laughs> quite jealous of it I thought oh, shit I've paid way too much for this one but my, my version is flawless my copy is absolutely flawless. So when when you want mint condition for Super Nintendo and it's a it's a A, a class game like this, it's going to cost you. So uh, yeah, I haven't tried it on the converter yet because um I didn't have time to try. It. I went I played the Aladdin game for about 20 minutes and I popped over to the gym, done my workout, and I've just got back and I'm doing this video. And uh, I'm a bit nervous about opening the box because I don't want to don't want to put any dinks in it so yeah I might as well show you it and it, it cost me 70 pound this did and you're thinking fuck's sake that's way too much but um the Ryan Shan said there was a copy that went for 90 pound so really it's hit or miss really it, it depends on the day then it depends who wants it at the time and whoever's looking for it so really you could go, go, go on eBay and find another one just in it's just in it's just as good condition and it, you can get it for less or maybe even more you never know and um um, so yeah, but I like to have them in nice condition because um, with Super Nintendo, there's millions of copies of battered boxes, and how many of the of uh, the Super Nintendo boxes in this condition are floating around? I reckon it's more or less. So yeah, I'm going to show you that. Show you the Ryan Shand. You know what it is. <laughs> You've already got it, and it's a uh, Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo. And you look at the edges; it's, it's absolutely flawless. The seller classed it as like new, which it is. It's it's it's, it's just perfect. If I if I took this to VGA graded, grade, VGA grading, it would get a really good score. But the only downside is it's not sealed, so really I can't get it graded. But yeah, if it was sealed, it would get it would get top 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 rating. So yeah, I haven't opened it yet. I'm a bit skeptical about opening it. So yeah, that's my two pickups, my two uh, additions to the collection. I've got a few other items on the way, and um, so yeah, with my um, collection videos, like me showing you what I've got, they're not. It's not going to be quite like the PS twos, like where I show you a big stack of games. It's going to be stuff like that, where it's just one or two items, because uh, I'm stepping my game up. I'm getting the more, the more uh, desired games, not the uh, common stuff. Um, so yeah, expect my price range to be around the fifty pound and upwards mark. I've got an, I've got one on the way, and it cost me a lot. <laughs> um, and, and you'll be uh, you're going to think I'm insane for paying it. But if you if you know you're in Super Nintendo, you're going to see that it's a rare one. It's a, it's it doesn't pop up too often, um, especially the PAL version. You could probably get a Super Famicom version and an NTSC version cheaper than what the PAL version is but but yeah that's that's another day it, it's on its way I've got a tracking number and I've got another I've got a Super Famicom game on the way and I've got a, another guide a guidebook on the way so yeah I've got three items on the way so yeah my next video will be my next uh, game video will be when they arrive I'll, I'll wait till all three of them arrive so I'll show you them all in one video so yeah today Aladdin Super Mario Kart wicked <laughs> so yeah cheers for watching I might, I might disable the ratings on this like the dislikes because um i've noticed i've got a little stalker he, he, he or she always dislikes videos where i'm in the picture the bigger picture but my gameplay is that he doesn't he or she doesn't do them ones but now i've said that he's going to go back and do it <laughs> so yeah so yeah, I'm, i might if 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 um my dislikes go 
beyond the thumbs up so that there's more dislikes than than likes. I'll, I'll just disable ratings because uh, yeah, it's bullshit. <laughs> oh well, someone someone's uh, stalking us uh, gaming channels, just being a uh, being prats <laughs> because they can get away with it. They can dislike and be coward about it. Be a coward and just they can hide and they can't say it. You can't say you can't see who it is, but. But yeah, because I, I, I've, I've noticed my subscribers are going up. I've got 215 now, but most of them are just random. It's like they've got no subscribers themselves. They don't make videos. They don't do nothing. They, they, they seem like they're false. Like they're just someone's just created a random account just to go around adding, adding random people when they've come across my channel and clicked me just to to uh, bring abuse <laughs> to my channel. So yeah, oh well, I, I don't care really. It's not like this is a life or death, is it? It's just a, a thumb down. But uh, yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.